I like different activities. There's nothing wrong with that. God wants us to get recreation, wants us to get exercise, rest time, all those things. We like to relax as a, as a family, watch an occasional show or movie, all those kind of things. Uh, you know, I, I like certain activities, you know, but nothing, nothing compares to being in the presence of God. Nothing compares whether I'm at home, just me, and my ball cap, I'm giving you a visual now, <laughs> my t-shirt and my shorts, and I'm just with God in my office, and I'm just with him, him alone, and his presence fills the room, nothing compares. Or with I'm all, all of you on Sunday morning, and the presence of God comes like nothing compares. My heart and my flesh, David said, cry out for the living God. I submit to you when the church reaches a tipping point, See, we're looking for God, here we go, we're looking for God to break in, God's looking up for us to break out. <laughs> when we begin to break out and we say, God, I want you more than anything else, and I want everybody out there to know how amazing you are, then all of a sudden God says, okay, but I'm just going to keep filling the bowl here. He wants to fill an 80 square mile valley. <laughs> with his glory and his presence. Like David, I can say, yes, I've seen you in the sanctuary. I've seen your power and your glory. There's been moments today was wonderful. There's been moments in meetings over the years where whether here or elsewhere I've been where the presence of God is so strong and so manifest and so weighty, like you don't want to leave. You, you just... You want to be in the presence of God. I've been at, there's been times where I've just been in meetings. It's like, I don't need anybody to pray for me. I'm just going to lay right here on the floor, prostrate before God, because God is here, and I'm going to let God do the work he wants to do in my heart. And I'm not going to get up off that floor until my heart is changed and my heart is realigned with heaven. <laughs> 